Let me show you the easiest way that I found to hatch brine shrimp. This is a Zis brine shrimp hatcher and a little workstation that I've built to make it easier for me to hatch and harvest the brine shrimp. First, I fill the container with clean water. Just grab a handful of rock salt. I drop it in there. I also have very soft water, so I need to add baking soda, just a pinch. Then I add one spoonful of premium grade brine shrimp eggs from Brine Shrimp Direct. For faster results, I have a heater in my container so that I can hatch them within 24 hours and use them the next day. I place the lid on and I use the rigid airline tubing that helps keep the brine shrimp circulating off the bottom. Then I turn on my air and plug in my heater and I wait 24 hours. During those 24 hours, I leave this light on the entire time. After 24 hours, I come back, turn off the air, unplug the heater and set that aside. And then I point the light at the bottom of and let all the brine shrimp head to the bottom. Then I let that sit for a few minutes. Once it looks like most of the brine shrimp are at the bottom, I open it up and let it flow into the brine shrimp filter and let the water collect in the bottom. Once it looks like most of the brine shrimp are out, I shut it off and discard the hatched eggs. I then discard the water that the brine shrimp hatched in and then let it finish dripping out until it's not runny anymore. Then I put the brine shrimp in a container of clean, warm water. I then place the container on an aquarium under a light, which then brings the brine shrimp to the top of the container, which makes them easier to suck out with a turkey baster or a pipette. And then I go around and feed it.